Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry about the weird camera work. We're trying to balance it out, but we got some of the lighting managed. It is Friday, May 19th, 2023. It is 79 degrees in my locale. Uh, last night it rained uh, quite a bit, about 1 a.m., 2 a.m. It is the rainy season around here, so that was kind of refreshing. Good news, all my plants got watered. Bad news brings the bugs out. So you have to take what you can get and not get upset. Uh, another uneventful night here, uh, taking care of a critter. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get her on camera because my house is a wreck, but we're going to give it a shot. We can. Woo. It's the obligatory case of you. We can have that. Say hi. He has been very good with the husky. Oh, come on. He's been very good. Um, not too snarly. The husky does the woo-woo with him, and he's just like, you know, go away. I have other things to do. We can try to swivel the camera around. What you got, woo-woo? As you can see, she's not very talkative early in the morning. She got me up at about 2 when the rain started. She wanted more water. But I would say, after all that, that's probably an okay thing. All right, so let's just get started. Let's see if we can pull up a daily Zen poem. Let's see where we're going to go here. Um, hang tight. Ah. High rises the eastern peak, soaring up to the blue sky. Among the rocks, an empty hollow, secret, still, mysterious, uncarved and unhewn, screened by nature with a roof of clouds. Time and seasons, what things are you? Bringing to my life ceaseless change, I will lodge forever in this hollow where the springs and autumn unheeded pass. To a young, around A.D. 400. I can agree with that. Um... Screened by nature of the roof of clouds, time and seasons, what things are you? I will tell you that when you live here, absolutely for sure, time doesn't run the same way as it does where you live. Um, sometimes you have to ask yourself what day it is. Sometimes you have to ask yourself what month it is. It's, it's very unique. So I, that one talks to me. And I like the fact that live in nature, you know, kind of a thorough thing, live in nature, Things are going to change. You're going to change with them. And at the same time, time just kind of just goes away. Right? A much more simple living approach. So let's go to our daily room pull. That is the rune of movement. So let's pull that book out. It was. We've pulled this one before. Rune of transit, transition, movement, physical shifts, new dwelling places, new attitudes, or new life. A sense of improving or bettering any situation. This is about steady progress and the slow growth through numerous shifts as it changes. This could apply to a business or an idea. This could be a relationship that must be changed to maintain growth. Moral effort and steadfastness are called for when you draw this. It says, as I cultivate my own nature, all else follows. Secret still, mysterious, uncarved and unhewn, screened by nature with a roof of clouds, time and seasons, what things are you? Remember, this is a symbol of a horse and a rider. It's a Bronze Age artifact, shows... A horse drawing the sun across the sky. It means you can feel a measure of safety in your position, and it is time to turn again to face the future, reassured to prepare the good fortune that comes. Remember that sharing is significant. It relates to the sun's power to foster life and illuminate all things with its light. Also remember the lessons about sharing. Like-minded, shares values, has something to offer. The answer is um or no to any of those questions. You don't share. 
Because if you don't take care of you, nobody else will. All right, we got our little book. Let's read from the little book. Thus, the victorious army is like a ton compared with an ounce, while the defeated army is like an ounce weighed against a ton. The combat of the victorious is like the sudden release of the pop up. Excuse me. No, we're not digging. The sudden release of a pent up torrent down a thousand fathom gorge. This is a strategic disposition of force. Well, that's those are really nice. All of these messages all kind of say the same type of thing. They're talking about time. They're talking about bettering your position. They're talking about squeaky toys. They're talking about... They're talking about understanding how to measure things out, because that's very important. And since today is Friday, it's probably a great day to discuss that. You got to measure out your efforts and your what you're going to do. Okay. What I'm going to do, what you're going to do, what you will put up with, what I will put up with. And that's very, very important because at this point in time, either A, we're getting old enough where we should stop putting up with nonsense. And if you are still putting up with nonsense and you're my age, you made some pretty bad choices. And the other one is growth and betterment. So you're going to grow today. You're going to do something that's going to be important today to help you get better as you move along. So this is a pretty hopeful uh, rune for you. For those of you like me who are working, doing different things while we're trying to work and do different things, it's a pretty good thing to hear. It's a pretty good thing to say. So, you know, rather than go too far, I'm going to leave it right there at that. And I'm going to say, I want you to have a really good day. I want you to have a betterment and improvement in your situation. I want you to remember that these empty places, as they're called, were time and seasons. What are you? Okay. Just be ready to, as you walk into that world, I don't like the word change because it's got a very negative connotation. I like the word adaptability. So as you move through the day, as the world around you alters, you adapt in order to get through that because you have things to do. The world is just going to stand in your way. You have things to do. Don't let the world stand in your way. But from the critters and myself, I'm going to hit myself into the shower and feed these kids. Today's plan is work at 8 o'clock. I don't know what's going to happen. Not quite sure yet. Uh, we did three tours yesterday. They were all pretty small, but it's a Friday, so sometimes that number goes up. So maybe it'll just be a busy day, and then I can come home and um, enjoy a simple meal. So on that hope, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, keep working. Keep getting things done. Remember, when you start to get discouraged, you know, remind yourself that even if you just rotate the cans in your pantry, you've actually done something. So good luck to you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.